Hi, hello and welcome. We are looking at the demo of Tinytopia. So let's see what we, they've got to say. As your instructor and guide, I would like to be the first to welcome you to the Tinytopia demo. In the demo version of Tinytopia, you will have access to four stages from the game, including Fledgling Fields, San Francisco, Teeter Town, and the game's tutorial. I highly recommend jumping into the tutorial first, followed by Fledgling Fields. This will get you familiar with the basics of Tinytopia. Now get ready to take your first step towards becoming the biggest, bestest mayor of the tiniest toy towns and cities. Okay. So, let's jump into the tutorial. Let's play. Oh, that was loud. Nuclear plants don't cause pollution or reduce your citizens' happiness. Watch out, though. They won't be happy if it catches fire. Good to know. Alright, welcome, Mayor, to Tinytopia. Soon you'll be building cities to your heart's content. But let's make sure you can walk before you set off running. Start by having a look around. You can move your camera with WASD. Whoops. Uh-huh. Okay. You can press Q and E or click the arrow buttons. Oh, nice. Uh, next, try switching to a bird's eye view by pressing the tab or by clicking the camera button. Oh. Okay. Also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Awesome. Okay. Roads are a vital part of any city. All roads need to be connected to a highway to operate, much like in real life. Let's see if you're ready to build some. Select the roads and structures category by clicking that. Okay. All right. You can cancel by clicking the thumbnail. Oh, no electricity. Yes, we should fix that. Buildings without access have a no electricity. To connect them, select the energy bar. Right, category. Select the highlighted coal. Place a coal plant. Oh, that is... Uh... All right. Now I have access to electricity. What do they need now? Oh, the no jobs. Equally bad. If only they had somewhere to work. Wait, you're the mayor. You can fix that. First, use the build bar to select the highlighted jobs category. Next, select the highlighted store button. Place a store next to your houses. Okay. Now that your city has the basics, it's time for you to start attracting new residents. Let's put in some housing. Start by selecting the residential category. Next, the highlighted house. Place houses next to the road until you reach a population of 30 citizens. Okay, so... Next to the road. Can I rotate this? Uh... How do I rotate this? I guess I can. Oh, there we go. R. R will let you rotate your building. We have not... Um... We've got 20. 25. 25. Oh, 30. Okay. You did it. You're well on your way to turning this tiny town into a thriving metropolis. I think you've earned a lesson on how to rotate buildings. Yeah, yeah, I could have used that a little bit sooner, but okay. You can also rotate by pressing right mouse button and dragging while placing it. Give it a shot. Um. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, well. I need another store, it looks like. So, jobs. Store. Let's see if that will fix the job situation. Kind of. 
Might need another job. Alright, that disappeared. What about this one? Can we move you? Can I move you? I don't think I can move it. But this guy needs a job. Well, let's just put one more, I guess, here. Alright, he's got a job. Good deal. Okay, so... Yeah. I think you're ready to learn how to combine buildings. Pay attention now. Open the residential category. Select the apartment building. Okay. Stack two apartments and put a house on top. Alright, so... One. Two. And then a house. Oh, there we go. Cancel the current. Yes, thank you. Take a look at the information panel. Okay. Open it. Simply click on any building. Okay. Let's see which services they have access to. Okay, we don't have these. The population of those living in it. Okay, there's five. And how much money? Okay. Addition. Oh, yeah, avoid that. Next is area quality and recreational. Okay. The higher the building's fire hazard, the higher the chances of the building catching fire. Oh, that's that's not good happiness is determined by access to services and the quality of the surrounding area you want to avoid protest you should keep the people happy yeah once you're done close it by clicking the highlighted X fire is terrible yes you'll need to build fire stations throughout your city select the highlighted emergency services click on the fire station Okay. Oh, something has caught fire. Well, I guess convenient might be the wrong word. Yeah. Uh, fire stations to dispatch each. Okay, send a truck to save the day. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Alright, get rid of that. Necessary to remove things, go ahead and select the highlighted demolish button. Click on the building to demolish it. So on and so forth. Alright, let's get rid of this one that's... Okay. Special buildings. Special buildings are often constructed from several individual parts. Highlighted special building. Okay. Mayor's Mansion. Uh-oh. Place the first part. Okay, we'll do it right here. Alright, the second part is the population goal. That goal is located next to your current population. Okay. Alright, apparently we've got enough people because I put too many houses. Alright. See if you can handle an actual city. Okay. That was pretty fun. I guess we will call that it for here. And we will do the next level in another episode. So we'll see you then. Bye.